Kinds of Mints from My Life Mints. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today is going to be a mixture of things. I want to clean out these two pouches. These two pouches sit at my desk and you can see they're overflowing and so I need to clean these out and organize things that I really really want to use and maybe I'll be hopefully be able to fit everything in this one here. Then if I have time I would really want to I really want to be able to journal a bit in my homonichi. I want to work on my weekly pages here. This one right here. I'm really enjoying the color right now. I I feel like it brings me a lot of joy so uh, I want to work on that and the other day the kids and I were able to take the take out the watercolors and we did some smashing of the pages so um, yeah let's clean these out though because it's getting I'm starting to get like it's bothering me that all this is overflowing and I really want to organize the pouches and put everything into one pouch if possible. So let's start with the small, smaller pouch. This is the Superior Labor pouch with the mustard color there and then the gray paint on the bottom with the logo from the stationery selection and the navy zipper, which is very, very nice. Um, this one I... <laughs> I have, um, I split them up when I do like wrapping and things, I always, lately I've been using this yarn um, and so I have it in here but I think I'm going to have like a different, I really want to just make a pouch now um, for journaling and for the Hobonich Techo. And then in here is the pencil pouch and this is from Sojourner from Rowena and I have three watercolor brushes, the travel, travel watercolor brushes, and I rarely use them. It's so sad. They're very, very pretty. Um, I rarely use them because they, I don't know, I took it out and I put them in here thinking that if I see them often, then I'll use them, but um, yeah, they're very, very pretty. I just, I think it's because I don't want to ruin them. When I'm journaling, my kids are usually with me, especially my daughter, and she loves to play with my stuff. <laughs> um, and I don't know, maybe that's probably that's probably the real reason why I don't want her to ruin the brushes. But I still, I don't know. Let's keep this as like a maybe. So let's do three piles: a pile that I need to store away, um, a maybe pile, and then a yes pile. Let's do that. This is a fine liner from Marvi Uchida. Uh, let's do yes for this one. I use this often. As you can see, it's totally, the writing has totally rubbed off and it's probably almost finished anyway, so I want to finish that off. This one I'm using frequently. This is the Pilot Kakuno. And yeah, I'm using it frequently, especially in my Hobonichi 5 year. And I've inserted my own ink, so I want to continue to use that. This one is a stapler from Midori there. So I don't know if you could be able to see that. It's quite shiny, but uh, do I really need it for this? Probably not. I don't really need it for my Hobonichi, so I'm going to store that away. I have, I have these two for like wrapping and things. This one I can definitely store away. This one, I think I had it out. I was <clears throat> wrapping the Hobonichi Cousin with this and I was like totally toting it around my house. Um, but I don't, I'm not doing that right now. So I'm going to store that away as well. This is just a ballpoint pen from Zebra. It's interesting because it's the tip here is weighted so that it's supposed to be easier to write. I have a ballpoint pen usually stuck to my planner, so I'm going to store this one away. I don't need it for my Hobonichi cousin. This one is was part of the one of the stationery selection boxes, and it's kind of like a gel pen. Um, I really enjoy it, but I don't really reach for it when I 
journal in my Hobonichi so this one I will also store away. Same with the Field Notes ballpoint pen. I'm not really sure why this is in here actually. Um, markers, let's keep that in there. This is the 100 yen shop scissors that I used a couple times and um, yeah, I think I'll just stick to my regular ones. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that. And so now this is empty. Maybe I can hold like travel, uh, if I go traveling and I just really need the essentials, I can put them in here maybe. That's what I'll use this for. It's a very, very pretty color. So hopefully the lighting is not too distracting. Let's move on to the pouch here. This is also the superior, superior labor and was also part of the stationery selection exclusive pouches. Um, this one is from Connie Peppercon Arts when she visited Europe last year and then I have the charm from one of the earlier boxes as well, the mouse charm. So cute. I think it really matches together. It's a really nice touch. Alright, so I have my watercolor set which doesn't close all the way. My daughter really likes to rearrange these and so it's always changing and I, yeah, I really need to clean this part out um, but I want to continue to use that. So this is the Yes Pile. The markers here, I think I'm going to do maybe. Um, I like these and I want to increase my collection but right now I'm just on a strict no spend. I like these because it has like the dot on the end on one side and then it has just the fine tip on the other. Um, but they're a lot of fun. Um, you can see my daughter loves to use them. It's very... Um, but anyways, I think I will yeah put in as a maybe. This one I definitely use. This is the the dot liner which is like a tape runner for sticking things in for the Hobonichi Techo. This one is a yes, especially now because I like the colorful journaling pages. I use this for pages like in my weekly, like right here. You can see, I think on this right here too, It's I love how it turned out. And so I have definitely want to use it for the weekly pages. For this week, you can see I've been documenting the numbers of new cases in Tokyo. So yes, I definitely want to, actually maybe I'll just stick this in here. <laughs> Do you remember when I used to have like three clipped? <laughs> Alright, let's move on. I have my glue stick, which is one of the smaller ones. And my daughter loves to play with this too, so it's a little gunky on the bottom there. Uh, but I think I will just stick with that for now. So this one I can put away. The scissors are a definite must. These I've been using for years now. It's still going strong. I really, really like them. This one is a just a regular marker that uh, apparently doesn't dry because it clicks up open and close. But I don't use this. I don't use this color often. So I think I will store that away. The other day I was organizing downstairs and I f came across so many of these water brushes and it's funny because I've been looking for the water brushes and then all of a sudden they all showed up at the same time. So I'm gonna uh, keep my fine one that um, I think this is the Tim Holtz fine, the fine nib one and then I want one that's a bit bigger so I'll keep these two. And these two I will have to clean up and store away. This is a Uniball Signal. I absolutely love Uniball Signal, but I'm not reaching for it right now for my Hobonichi, so let's store that away. Same with these two ballpoint pens. They're so pretty though. Very, very pretty and cute. These two are also from the stationery selection in one of the sets. Glue stick I will have, uh, especially if I'm going to glue like a big piece of paper on the, on the back backdrop. Washi tape, oh, the washi tape and this 
it's usually for packing and things so I will yeah put it into this pile here another fine liner the Mitsubishi Uni one of my favorite ones oh this is not capped on properly hopefully it's not dried out uh, but yes this is a must I like I don't know if you've been me with me for a while um, I used to outline my drawings with a thicker line and I want to get back into doing that so I'll have that's one uh, 0 0.1 and then the 0 02 so let's have a variation of the fine liners some pins oh this is a gift from life at 30 something I, w I was <laughs> keeping these pins in here um, because I wanted to put them on here but I also want to put or maybe the red one will really match nicely here um, I wanted to put them on my Delphonics pouch that I still need to get out and show you um, but so with these two I think I'll keep them in here for now because I feel like I'm gonna lose them or forget about them if I don't keep them in here especially when I set up my Delphonics pouch um, and then this one is this this is the last one this is a watercolor set from Connie from Peppercorn Arts this beautiful set here my daughter was playing with the seashells and I think um, they got stuck here. I don't know if you can see the bits of paper ripped on, uh, but you can definitely still use them. But yeah, she, my daughter really likes to uh, play with <laughs> my watercolor things and I'm not going to, you know, stop her from doing that. She's having fun. So uh, especially during this time, I, I want her to have fun with my stuff and I want her to journal with me. So there's that. So I want to keep this in here as well. So these are all yeses. Let's see if this is going to fit. This one I really need to rejig. I really need to rejig this up. Like this one is going this way and yeah, I really need to like some of these colors. I know that's a blue one, but like these ones here, I think they're they're green, but there's so many greens and there's a green there blues I want to keep them together and yeah my I really need to take everything out clean everything and put that put reorganize the watercolors oh that feels a lot better hopefully I can close it maybe yes yeah that feels a lot better so I'm glad I I did that that's like 15 minutes <laughs> sorry 15 minutes into the video let's just quickly then do something in the hobodichi cousin while I have you here just really quick so that uh, this video doesn't get too long and while I have these beautiful markers out let's play with them so I'm sorry the lighting is not the best I know it might be a little bit distracting here but uh, the Sun is coming in and out I have these free printables from paper made me do it and I really wanted to use that one for the weekly here so let's work on that uh, cutting this out since I have this out I'll use the 100 yen shop scissors 